up everyone, it's Jan Boers, new video and in this video I will be talking about Amsterdam Eurovision in concert, party, concert, however you call it and I decided to not make a huge super long video but I choose some categories, some are relevant, some are a little bit irrelevant because we didn't have the complete package of countries but still we had 27 performances, 27 countries and 27 amazing reactions, I really hope those reactions will be amazing actually, but let's see. And in this video, I will start with Benelux. First of all, I would like to give you my first reaction on Joost Klein, but also I would like to compare him to completely another categories. Tali from Luxembourg and also Musti from Belgium. From Belgium, I'm very curious if Musti got better with the vocals or really they are also already tired because I saw in pre-parties he was suffering more and more and more to, to sing his song. With Tali, it's more about the stage presence, if it got better. And with Jost Klein, the overall feeling about it, because this is the first time I will be having a chance to see it live. Also, I'm using Vivivlogs for this. It's one camera shot, so it's definitely not a perfect picture. It's definitely not a perfect sound, but the conditions are for everybody the same. So after all, it's kind of a, it's kind of a fair, even though I would really recommend you not to take too much out of it in the terms of this is it, this is the decision. Just take this a little bit with... Let's talk! Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Subscribe, like, become a member. As members you will get this content much, much sooner. So if you're interested in more countries, which I'm talking about, you become a member and you will just receive it. And let's talk about the first country on this list from Benelux, and it's Belgium. Okay, Musti, let's show off. Okay. I like the song. I'm struggling with his performance a little bit during the per during the pre parties. Definitely, this is his strength through slow tones. In those high tones, you can see the technique he has. It's causing him a lot of, lot of, lot of power. But at least from this sound and camera, it feels good. I don't know how this is relevant really, but what I like, I like his body language. I think this is his amazing strength. He really reminds me a little bit of Mick Jagger, you know? Even he's not that super active, but those overacted gestures, even though it seems that in this performance he's doing it lesser than usual. Like Mick Jagger with visuals of David Bowie, kind of. And definitely in every single, in every single performance he's taking off some of parts of his clothes. Can we expect this also on staging? And also this, I think we can. I think this is not a coincidence, this routine. And he's basically training it every single time. His body language is perfect. Vocals from this sound outcome, I would say it's okay. But his energy, like this, I like on artists who brings the energy to the crowd. Because also the crowd, the crowd deserves it. And I think that I see 
almost the choreography of his and then we can expect something like this at Bake Eurovision. I would be very surprised if it will see completely something else. No, I don't want this. I like the song. I must say I like Belgium song. And if Musti will be able to accomplish and work with his vocal capabilities in the high tones, high notes, rest it, really rest it, work with, work with the vocal coach a little bit, to be a little bit more sure in it, then I like for qualification. I have no doubts about like Musti to qualify. In my opinion, this is not a question, but definitely, if he wants to go to top ten in the finals, he needs to improve this because then the rest really works. He has amazing stage stage presence. In my opinion, I like it. I, li I like I like him visually. I like him really also looking at him also as a concert. So I think people in the arena, also people in front of TV. They will really enjoy it and then it's also all around about the package. So I'm very curious if the staging will look similar to the music video where he had so many microphones over there and singing to them like he's uh, some kind of preacher. Even this maybe it's more available or it is more reliable for Don's. But I like this, I like his expression, I like how he moves with the hands, I like how he's affected. I trust the song, I trust is the artistic performance and for this reason I really hope that he will become better. This performance actually from my perspective was absolutely okay. Of course we don't have the perfect output, but without perfect output he seems perfect. Good and good. Let's move to Luxembourg. From previous parties I had a problem with her stage presence somehow. So let's see if this will improve because this is what I will be watching here much more. No dancers around, she's alone on the stage. She already has some gestures. Nice costume also. Vocally, it is absolutely okay. Even... Hmm. I think they they moved a little bit with the song. It's a little bit better. It's somehow richer, a little bit. This, for example. She's very, she's very static in the song, but I kind of like that that how she now works more concert-wise for the public, and it's not anywhere in the middle. This is really like a concert. I I enjoyed it. From this perspective, I enjoy it, even it's a static camera, honestly. Of course, we, from this, it's very hard to judge anything else. But she suffers a little bit in those lows, you can feel it. This scream, this this first scream, it's like out of nowhere. I really hope it will be improved. But I think with very dynamic cameras, her dynamics, also dancers, you will get the product you deserve. And I think it will be improving and they need to improve step by step by step the competition is tough but they have the perfect position they have the perfect position for 
the semi-final to qualify and it will be great that after 30, 31 years for Luxembourg to see them in the finals. I still have my doubts about it, but the positioning, the improvement, the that I can imagine how they could work with the song, I think that could really work out for Luxembourg this year. What do you think? In the comments below, but of course, let's go for the highlight of this video, which is Joost Klein. You know what I think about the song? I haven't changed my mind, but also you know what I think about Joost Klein as a performer. And I also haven't changed my mind so far. So I'm very curious how his performance in here will be looking. But as far as I know, he's so confident on stage, such sure, like it's nothing for him. Like it feels he belongs there. And this is the biggest strength of an artist to, to not going to perform, but to perform for like his own jo joy kind, kind of, which I think this is Joost biggest strength. Regardless the song, I think this is power of the artist. So let's do it before the sound goes down. Of course, the biggest applause it was in Amsterdam, his home scene. And I'm not sure is he, if he's from Amsterdam directly. But he's from Netherlands, doesn't matter. So come on. Come on. Euro! Oh, he has this costume, this crazy costume. Like he's a cringe lord in a very good way. And I feel this song is a Eurovision pleaser so much. But you can see from his body language that like he's a master of performing. This is a concert, this is, if I go to the concert, I want to see this. Not a person do three steps here and three steps there, I want the person to lift the song. So this is what he's doing, this is what he's doing and... And it works! Even I don't know when he's singing or not. Like he's not really singing over there. But this is no the way how he performs for the people. It's brilliant, and also he's creating a music video out of it. He's running on the stage. This is probably something we would be able to see also in uh, Malmö. No, he's he's home. But he's home also on the stage. Let's look what he's doing. Kneeling. This, this I paid ticket for, you know, to see performance. Like I want everybody to have that, such energy when they're performing for other people. <laughs> I like the background. But amazing, it's very funny. Applause. <laughs> no. You know what I like? That he and his team they are thinking about every detail even for pre-party. It's just crazy. Okay, now he has pictures from people over there. Okay, rave part. Like I must say the song doesn't work on me almost zero. But he, he's mesmerizing. He's, he's unstoppable. Ah, this is live shooting. He's an amazing performer. Like, but, like, okay, I, I don't need to like the song. I don't really need, don't like the song. And for who you really know me over here from my channel. And the, if you don't, I like. I think it's a joke act. I know you will tell me it's not. It has a huge meaning and blah blah blah. It the musically, it's it's this musically, you know. 
and most of the people won't know what it means. And, and, and the reason why I'm telling you this is that I want you to understand why I don't like those things at Eurovision because I wish Eurovision become a world stage, like world, world, the best, which doesn't really exclude the jokes. But, and this is a big one, I want artists with performance staging presence, stage presence, with attitude, with energy, with this crazy, I don't give a damn, as Yost, because this is a class. This is a class. This is how you go treat your fans. This is how you go perform. This is how you shine. This is how you shine, because it's not about just a song. The most of it, of all the songs, if the song is not really terrible, is doing the artist. Artist is alpha and omega. Artist is the person who's going straight forward in front of the cameras and sing the song. No one will judge the composer. No one will scream on producer, but everybody is criticizing this person on stage. And in this case, I have nothing to say against. I have nothing to say against. Regardless, I really don't like the song because this performance, this attitude, this is what everybody should have. This is a starting level, what everybody should automatically have when they come in front of people and want to perform. It's called professionalism, but also it's a perfect spirit. It's inspirational and even though I don't like the song, I had fun. I enjoyed and after this, you can tell that this is a very huge contender, maybe for winning the whole contest, maybe just to winning public vote. I agree with this because almost no one, almost no one from all of those artists is matching him in the way how he sells the song, how he is performing, how professional he is. And I saw him for the first time from that far, that far. And I can tell you almost no one is matching him because this is what as a professional you should do. Because you choose entertainment as a business and yours is entertaining. And it's simple as that. But maybe you don't agree with me, even I doubt it, but maybe you don't uh, agree with me in general what I said in this video. So write me in the comments below, what do you think? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, become a member to see those videos in advance, maybe even bigger parts. And also I will ha I have some exclusive contents for the members, also podcasts and blah, 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 so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. And thank you also for making my channel to grow. 7,000 subscribers dream. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.